Welcome to this PowerPoint presentation about the two-year Recreation Leadership Diploma Program here at Langara College in Vancouver, BC, Canada. In the first term of the program, students take five college-level courses, which are three credits each. In addition, you may take the program on a part-time basis if you wish, and some students bring in transfer credits from other colleges and universities from British Columbia and or Canada. Many of our courses offered in the program are classroom based here at our college. We do have a lot of questions about people wanting to take the courses online and at the present time this is not possible. Even though our courses are based in our classroom, we do offer some portions of the course to the students in an online format. In addition to our classroom uh, based sessions, we also uh, try and get as much practical experience for the students. And so you notice on this screen we are in the gymnasium at Langara College doing a cooperative game session during one of our first term leadership courses. One of the big highlights for the uh, first term students is going to take the five day outdoor field school as operated by Outward Bound Canada. This takes place uh, near Victoria at the Machosan Wilderness Camp and it's a five-day experience where the students have a chance to experience what it's like to learn leadership skills in an outdoor setting. On the first day of their Outward Bound experience, the students spend time doing an orientation to the outdoors and uh, gain some of the skills they need to, uh, to do well on the trip. One of them, of course, as you see here, is uh, learning how to uh, set up a tarp, which they can sleep under for the uh, three days on the trail. On the second, third, and fourth day of their five-day experience, the students break up into patrols, and each patrol is uh, assigned a certain section of the Juan de Fuca Trail to hike and camp on for the next three days. On their uh, final day at the Outward Bound Experience, the students have a chance to try out the uh, challenge wall at the Machosan Wilderness Camp. You can see by the slide that uh, some of them actually really enjoy getting to the top of the wall. Throughout the term, we try and offer the uh, students uh, a number of field trips to, again, help build their practical experience, and this one takes place at the Mobile Arts Centre in Vancouver. We find the best way to learn about uh, doing art and leading art is by actually doing it themselves, so the students have a chance to uh, experience the uh, hands-on feel of doing art in recreation. One of the important skills we stress to the students is that they should be doing reflective practice when they're working in the field of recreation. So one of the exercises we do is an individual silent reflective walk around the golf course located next to Langara College. In our first term we stress a lot of leadership skills and one of the ways to build leadership skills is actually to practice with the rest of the class. So uh, each group is given a sport and a chance to uh, demonstrate the sport to their classmates in a, a group gym leadership project. Here we see some of the uh, students uh, reviewing the rules for the game of volleyball with their fellow classmates. As mentioned previously, again, we feel strongly that uh, going out to the field as well as doing their theory is important for the students. So here's a chance where they go to Abbotsford for a full day field trip to apply many of the theories that they've uh, learned so far in the term. One of our stops for this uh, full day trip is to a commercial fitness facility. Got to have time for lunch, so we stop the bus and give the students a few minutes to eat and socialize at the same time. On the last uh, stop for the field trip, the students have a chance to watch the Abbotsford Parks Recreation and Culture Commission in action so they can see how a formal meeting in the field of recreation uh, takes place. Our last field trip for the first term takes place at the Trout Lake Community Center and we spend a couple hours out in the park area to show the students what it takes to uh, operate and maintain a complex park system in the Vancouver area. And of course, as any student who's taken a college level course remembers, there are Christmas exams to wrap up the uh, term. In term two of the program, students responsible for taking six college level courses of three credits each. And again, you can take these on a part-time basis depending on your uh, needs and wants. During one of our courses, we invite our grads back uh, to share some of their stories and experiences with the first year students about what it's like to be a recreation student and then what are the potential uh, for the field later on after they graduate. As in first term, we try and uh, have the students do a number of field trips to selected recreation facilities and one of our field trips for the term is to Mount Seymour in North Vancouver. 
During our field trip to Mount Seymour, we tour all the various departments at the uh, mountain and one of our stops uh, is to the snowboard and ski rental shop where we learn how to handle all the various clients who uh, want to rent equipment at the resort. One of the more popular uh, field trips for the term is to Rogers Arena where we get a chance to uh, visit the facility and see how it operates. As part of this field trip, the students get to ice level to watch the two Olympias in operation. Another field trip for the term is to the Shaughnessy Golf and Country Club in Vancouver and uh, they get a chance to see the entire operation of the club and you notice in the slide that they all get it dressed up which is nice to see to respect the dress code at the club. One of the stops at this field trip is to the greenhouse of the Shaughnessy Golf and Country Club so the students can understand what it takes to provide all the beautiful plants which are uh, spread around the uh, club itself. An important aspect of operating recreation facilities is the custodial aspect and here the students uh, go to Queen's Park Arena in New Westminster for a two-hour lecture on the topic and are then broken into teams for the uh, annual student custodial competition. Here's a group of students who are uh, happy in showing off their nice clean dress room as part of the uh, student custodial competition. In one of their courses the students have a chance to put together a personal portfolio of their recreation accomplishments to this point in the field is very useful later on when they want to uh, demonstrate to employers in the field uh, what they have done and what their skills are uh, as they're getting hired for various jobs. Here is another photo of the students working hard in their portfolio. Notice that some students put together an electronic portfolio. In their program planning course in second term, the students have to go out into the community, find a facility, find a group, and then run a special event for that uh, group. Over the years we've held many, many special events in the community and there's some great learning outcomes for the students as they work through the project. Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation on the Recreation Leadership Diploma Program. If you'd like further information, please visit one of our two websites.